Hello, everyone. I thought that I would show the other meander book that I did about 15 years ago. This one is five inches by about four and a half inches, so it's not quite square. It works just the same. It is a meander book. That means that it is a non-traditional accordion book style. Um, this one has covers on it. The other one did too. I didn't show that last time. I just covered a piece of cardboard or two pieces of cardboard and attached them to the poster board base. This one uses, um, let's start from this side. This one uses magazine images, black and white magazine images, and a lot of words. I had a ton of words, and I think I was trying to use them up. So this one is a little less directional. It is definitely um, each page is has something upside down, sideways, um, lots and lots of words. So I just wanted to do a quick flip of this one, too, so that you can see the details of it. I don't think I've ever done a flip. I have flipped through it quickly, but not really slow enough so that you can see and read and see everything. So I thought that I would do that. and see if I can find all the pages without skipping anything. So the newsprint is actually yellowing in places. You can tell that it was different kinds of papers that I used. Um, some of the newspapers were better uh, print than others, and some of them have been in the in the daylight a little bit longer or something. I do need to go through and put a coat of varnish over the top, just to give it a little bit more. Which way did I go? Uh, just a little bit more um, archival, hopefully. Stop some of the yellowing. It doesn't uh, distract from it at all, but it's kind of interesting that some of the words are more yellow than others. This one is really hard to show the details of. I think that is why I've never actually done a full flip through of it. It didn't actually take me very long to glue all the stuff on the pages. I do love all the words, and I will need to start getting some more newspapers and collecting some more words. I have been collecting words from magazines, so I'm still collecting words. I find them, the abstractness of them sometimes are kind of fun to use. And here is the back cover. And again, I will open up so that you can see the back side of the book because it is double sided. See if I can find all the pages.
<laughs> I love those little baby faces. Missing garden gnome, I thought that was hilarious. Nope, we've been there before. I get confused. I think that's a National Geographic. It could be something else. <laughs> They were having a competition. Let's see, which way am I supposed to be going now? This way. And I love all the different fonts that I find in newspapers. All the different newspapers have different things that they, different fonts they use. Advertisers have different fonts. And nope, we've seen that one before. Oh, did we see that? We've seen that one. Oh, here we go. See, I get lost. I get lost and can't figure out which way I'm supposed to be going. Here's an example of one side is upside down and the other one is not. I think that adds to the fun of meander books where you have to twirl them around and then you kind of get lost where you were, where you're supposed to be going. Um, and it's easy to just open a single page and go to the back and not know how to get back to where you were so you can see it, it all. And that's the other cover. So, I mean, I could, I could open it, you know, this way, or I can open it this way from that page. Um, when I get to this page, I could open it this way, or I could open it this way. Gives me a different page. So you're not always looking at the same I mean, there's different ways to do it. It's just, it's an adventure. It is a journey uh, in in books. Um, so it makes it a whole lot of fun to look at and get involved in. I do love to fiddle with these things and just um, pull them down. And there's they're so full of stuff that I forget what I have in there. And um, I, I have a a lot of fun just looking at them again and again and again so that is it this is the second uh, meander book newspaper and magazine image meander book and it is just a glue book because all i'm doing is gluing pieces of paper onto a structure so it is also a glue book or a collage book because glue books are collage. All right. Thanks for watching.